My name is Dr. Adam Myers. I am an interventional pain specialist here at CV Orthopedics. I have been here for greater than 16 years and I practice uh, interventional pain management. The field of pain is fairly large. There's different types of pain. There's nerve pain, there's muscular pain, there's pain from a surgical incision. And what we do is help, again, diagnose certain conditions as well as come up with a treatment plan and a strategy to help um, get you better. What we do here, again, is it's an orthopedic group, so we'll perform a lot of procedures to help accurately establish a diagnosis. So there's many, many pain sensitive structures in both the neck and the low back that can be the source of your pain. And oftentimes the best way to accurately identify that structure is by putting possibly a small amount of numbing medication right at the source or what we think may be the source. And we do this under x-ray guidance. And if your pain goes away, we think we may have the source of the pain. Again, now come up with a treatment option for it. And if that injection procedure did not help you, well then we got to keep looking. So that's interventional uh, pain management and I think that's uh, oftentimes very beneficial and helpful at the, the whole diagnostic process. The training and education for a pain management specialist, I happen to be a physical medicine rehabilitation specialist. Also uh, physicians who practice this, uh, this uh, field are also anesthesiologists. Um, so typically obviously you go to medical school, uh, specialize either in physical medicine rehabilitation, anesthesia, and then it's uh, a year fellowship uh, to hone your skills in interventional procedures. Kind of like what I was uh, discussing here a minute ago, there are many structures within the spine itself and oftentimes trying to accurately establish a diagnosis is difficult. What I mean by that is just because you see a disc herniation on an MRI or a disc bulge, that may not be the source of the pain. Therein lies where an EMG study or a diagnostic injection procedure may be beneficial. It could be a joint related condition, it could be a ligamentous structure that is painful, and maybe not that disc itself. In the past, that's kind of what's given spine surgery in a way a bad name because you're, you're targeting that disc. And again, that very well may not be the source. So kind of putting all of uh, our tools together in a, in a setting like this, where you have pain management specialists, you have spine surgeons, we can work together as well as physical therapists to come up with a strategy and a plan. It's a very small percentage of patients with spine pain will ultimately go for surgery. The vast majority of them will, most of them get better on their own. Most of them will get better with physical therapy, with a course of medication, you know, an anti-inflammatory or something along those lines. If it persists and it goes on a little further than what we'd typically like to see, that's when a, an injection procedure may come in. With an injection procedure, instead of you taking the medication by mouth, you're putting it right where you want for it to be. And as you know, if you take a medication by mouth, it's, you're putting it to your stomach, your stomach to the bloodstream, the bloodstream to all the, the cells of the body. Some of these spine structures, there's very little blood supply too. So oftentimes the best way to get that medication where you want for it to be is by putting it there um, through a needle. When should someone, if they're having pain that is persistent and it's not going away, um, and we're, when, our talk, when I say not going away, our, you're going to give it a couple of weeks. Um, and if you're having shooting discomfort into your legs, into your arms, these are all uh, reasons to possibly book an appointment with us. One of the most common uh, conditions that we will see here are elderly people. When I say elderly, it's usually anybody over the age of 50 and it's a condition called degenerative lumbar spinal stenosis. There's many names for this. It's facet joint arthropathy, disc desiccation, degeneration, uh, but it all comes down to arthritis of the back. And these are patients who are having difficulty standing and walking for any length of time. They usually have to sit uh, to mitigate the symptoms. They'll oftentimes uh, push the shopping cart. And these are very, very easy and common. Uh, it's an easy diagnosis. It's a very common condition. The treatment for that is a little more difficult, um, but that's probably one of the most common uh, conditions that we will see. Well guys, I just want to let you know, if you have any kind of pain and it's not going away and you're having discomfort, it's altering the way you're living your life. If you're not getting sleep, if you're not able to work because of the symptoms or the pain that you're experiencing, there are options, there are ways of accurately diagnosing your condition and there are ways of treating it. So I don't want you to just see if it goes away on its own. Give it a couple of weeks, but if it's not, then you need to come see us.